how often we hear about soft skills and being a trainer for me everything is soft skills but when it comes to real soft skills i think it will be very very extensive subject to deal on but when we take into account there are top key soft skills which are very much sought after by the employers so here is a list of few soft skills that we would like to closely look at which all the recruiters seek one point or the other so let's begin the number one soft skill is communication communication is one of the most important soft skills able communicators can adjust their tone and style according to their audience comprehend and act efficiently on instructions and explain complex issues to colleagues and clients alike a key often forgotten communication skill is listening whether you are dealing with a customer complaint or working with your colleagues good listening skills will help you learn and respond correctly to the circumstance you have been presented with equally as important are your verbal and non verbal skills verbal skills are key to fostering relationships that are collaborative and respectful and ultimately productive this also applies to your written communication a lot of business communication is now played out by email so it's important to know good email etiquette and give instructions clearly and concisely the second soft skill is self motivation the better word the better word to self motivation will be inspiration which is inside out so having a positive attitude and the initiative to work well without around the clock supervision is a vital soft skill for any employee not only does it demonstrate reliability and commitment but it also shows that you can fit efficiently into an organizational structure without the need for constant supervision to demonstrate your motivation think about creativity ambition commitment initiative and the number 3 on the list is leadership leadership is a soft skill you can show even if you are not directly managing others those with strong leadership skills will have the ability to inspire others and lead teams to success this is why it is particularly sought after skill people with good leadership skills will have a range of skills that are useful in the workplace including a positive attitude and outlook the ability to make quick and effective decisions exemplary problem solving or conflict management skills the ability to communicate effectively an aptitude for both self motivating and motivating others even if you are applying for an entry level role don't be afraid to demonstrate your potential by showing how you have positively influenced others to take a project to success number 4 responsibility responsibility is a seldom talked about but highly valued soft skill colleague who fail to take responsibility for their work will be less productive and less successful overall to demonstrate a high level of responsibility make sure you can master these skills and what are the what are they trustworthiness discipline motivation conscientiousness accountability so taking responsibility means taking ownership of not only your goals but the wider company goals this will mean taking the initiative to make improvements accepting responsibility for any failures and really caring about working your way to success number 5 teamwork like leadership good good teamwork involves a combination of other soft skills working in a team towards a common goal requires the intuition and interpersonal acumen to know when to be a leader and when to be a listener good team players are perceptive as well as receptive to the needs and responsibilities of others problem solving decisiveness 
ability to work under pressure and time management, flexibility, negotiation and conflict resolution. Number six is problem solving. Problem solving does not just require analytical, creative and critical skills, but a particular mindset. Those who can approach a problem with a cool and level headed will often reach a solution more efficiently than those who cannot. This is a soft skill which can often rely on strong teamwork too. Problems need not always be solved one alone. Be solved alone. The ability to know who can help you reach a solution and how they can do it can be of greater advantage. Number seven is decisiveness. Decisiveness is characterized by the ability to make quick and effective decisions. It does not mean recklessness or impulsiveness. Decisiveness combines several different abilities. The ability to put things into perspective, weigh up the options, assess all relevant information, anticipate any consequences, good and bad. A decisive employee will take effective and considered action quickly, especially when under pressure. They take responsibility for the consequences of their decision and can adapt when mistakes are made. This ensures that opportunities aren't missed by lengthy analysis or debate. Number eight, ability to work under pressure and time management. Many jobs come with demanding deadlines and sometimes high stakes. Recruiters prize candidates who show a decisive attitude and unfaltering ability to think clearly and a capacity to compartmentalize and set stress aside. Time management is closely related to the ability to work under pressure as well as within tight, di- tight deadlines. Employees who manage their time well can efficiently prioritize tasks and organize their diaries while adopting an attitude which allows them to take on new tasks and deadlines. Number nine. Flexibility. Flexibility is an important soft skill since it demonstrates an ability and willingness to embrace new tasks and new challenges calmly and without fuss. Flexible employees are willing to help out where needed, take on extra responsibilities and can adapt quickly when plans change. Employers are looking for candidates who can show a willing and upbeat attitude and who are unfazed by change. Number 10 and the last one, negotiation and conflict resolution. This is another of those soft skills which employers look for in potential leaders. To be an adept negotiator is to know how to be persuasive and exert influence while sensitively seeking a solution which will benefit all parties. Similarly, conflict resolution depends on strong interpersonal skills and the ability to establish a rapport with colleagues and clients alike. So, as with hard skills, you should spend some time considering what your soft skills are. It may help to ask people who know you well and highlight them in your resume and in job interviews. Hard skills can be shown via qualifications, but soft skills are more slippery. It is important to fully research the company you are applying to and identify which of your soft skills are most relevant to the role. Once you have identified the soft skills that are most relevant to the role you are applying for, make sure you prepare to talk about them at interview and include them as keywords in your resume or cover letter. Since soft skills are necessarily abstract, you should reinforce any claims with examples of when you are able to use them to achieve positive outcomes. These examples can be drawn from professional, personal or academic experiences. If you have been an undergraduate student, you will probably have experience of juggling various deadlines and extracurricular responsibilities. If you have previously worked in any job with customer service element, you may have had to use your communication and conflict resolution skills to manage any complaints. On your resume, 
the easiest and most essential way to show your soft skills of communication and, and attention to detail is to proofread ruthlessly and eliminate any typo error. In your interview, demonstrate your interpersonal skills by being professional, making eye contact, shaking hands, listening closely to the questions and answering them fully. I hope this will make sense as you prepare for your soft skills. Best wishes ever. Thank you.